All right, this is part C of this number 33. And we can see here the exponent of 8 here is negative. So the first thing we're actually going to want to do is reciprocate what really is 8 over 1. So to reciprocate that, that'll get rid of the negative in the exponent, as you can see here. So from this point on, we're really just focusing on the denominator because the numerator is going to stay 1 throughout this problem. So <clears throat> once again, we look at the exponent of 8 here is 2 thirds. And what we want is to figure out what number to the power of the denominator 3 will equal 8. So again, we're not we're not saying something to the power of 1 third. We're saying something to the power of 3 because that's what's going to cancel out that denominator there. And we can use a factor tree right here. We could say that 8 would factor out into 2 and 4, which would factor out into 2 and 2 like this. And we can see that that is 2 cubed. 8 is 2 cubed to the power of 2 thirds. <clears throat> then we'll just go ahead and multiply those exponents. And we have 1 over 2 to the power of 3 times 2 thirds. Once again, you can use parentheses there just to indicate that we need to do that first. And uh, I could simplify this right away like we did in the last video, but I'm just go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and cancel out those 3's there. So what we end up with is 1 over 2 squared. And you could write that as 2 to the power of negative 2 if you're teacher wanted you to write it using negative, negative exponents, but in this case we're just going to evaluate this 1 over 2 squared is 4. And that's our final answer there. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. If you found that it's helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel and you'll get more videos like this one. Uh, additionally, if you have questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below and I can answer those questions for you for your math class. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.